Sloths are a walking ecosystem, you guys. A cute little, slow-moving, smushy little walking ecosystem. And this one, a hug and squeeze, it's just good all slow. Hey, sloth lovers, Trace here for D News. Sloths are very popular. People freaking love them. There are websites devoted to them. You can rent them to come to your parties. And Kristen Bell famously freaked out when her now husband took one to their house. Do you want to come be a part yes. of setting up his little habitat? He's coming for the party. <laughs> the thing is, most people don't know a lot about sloths. First, there are two kinds of sloth, two and three-toed, but there are actually six species of sloth. There used to be giant sloths. They were the size of mammoths with claws the size of a man's forearm. Sounds ferocious, but they ate avocados, you know, just saying. Sloths are native to the Americas and are arboreal. That is to say, they mainly live in trees. They only come down to the ground to take a poop. Their defecations fertilize trees, sure, but a new study from the University of Wisconsin-Madison explores how it provides a home for dung-eating moths, too. Once the larvae eat their fill and change into moths, the insects fly forth to find another sloth bum. Once back on their slothy home, they live in their fur, eating, pooping, dying, rotting. All in a sloth's butt, the moths, poo chunks, and fur then become home to an algae, which serves to disguise the sloth, creating what the researchers call algae gardens, which the sloths then eat. <laughs> yeah, let that sink in for a minute. It's the circle of life! This strange biome, which scientists are just discovering, might explain why sloths in captivity are less robust than those in the wild. The algae mix has a lot of nutrients and fatty acids the captive sloths don't really get from leaves. Sloths in captivity mainly eat twigs, leaves, and fruits, which are difficult to digest and contain low amounts of energy, which is why they move slowly and rarely come out of the trees. Their bodies evolved a slow metabolism and low body temperature to make the most of their energy intake. Like a cow, they digest all this food with a forced stomach system to extract the most from their vegan diet. The combination of the arboreal lifestyle, slow movement, and sleepy disposition protects them from most ground-based predators. It's thought that this gross algae stuff that lives on them isn't just nutritious, but also protects the sloth from air-based predators too. How clever. Knowing all this, would you still want to snuggle with the sloth? I don't think I would. Thanks a lot for watching D News, everybody. Subscribe and tell us your thoughts on the humble sloth in the comments. And while you're at it, come find us on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And for more on the sloth, check out discoverynews.com.